Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I will talk about zooming and navigation. First things first, why dedicate a complete lesson on zooming and navigation? Why? Well, because it's super important. I'm going to be using it the whole time without telling you, and I want you to be able to follow along. And instead of going, whoa, what the heck, what did he do, how did he do that? I want you to always know what I'm doing and how. So, this is how you navigate through your scenes. You need to know how to navigate through the workspace, right? And you need to know how to navigate through the timeline. Let's talk about navigating through the workspace first. The zoom in and out and navigate is super easy. Just hold the Alt key and then press both buttons in your mouse. Both buttons, both the right and left, and then drag. Okay, so Alt, click and drag with both buttons in your mouse. Okay, and that's zooming in and zooming out. And to navigate, it's also super easy. Just hold Alt, the Alt key, and then click and drag. And that moves uh, the view to the sides, up and down, okay? So if you want to zoom in, just hold Alt, and then click and drag with both buttons in your mouse, and then Alt and click and drag. The left click, click and drag, to move the camera view, okay? Now, make this a habit when you're working in Crazy Talk Animator 3 for your YouTube series. Before moving anything, before moving the camera view like I just did, make sure you have two things checked. Make sure you are either recording, look, I'm going to activate the recording, now it's recording the camera view, or I'm not recording. Make sure you uh, you look at this corner before moving your camera, okay? And two, make sure you are in the correct keyframe in case you want to record the camera movement. And I'm not kidding. It might sound like, ah, the correct keyframe, that's a good one. No, I'm not joking. This software is super powerful and lets you animate super fast. And so it's very sensitive and you have to be careful with that. For example, let's say I want to make some adjustments, right? And I want uh, to adjust the feet when this character is jumping, right? Or out of happiness like this. Yeah, he's very happy. And I want to make some adjustments to the feet. So. I zoom in without checking out this corner. I'm not I'm not I'm going to ignore. Oh, I don't know if I'm recording or not because I'm not checking that. So I just zoom in and then I make my little adjustments. Yeah, I want to let's pretend I do some adjustments. There. I'm happy with the corrections, uh, the adjustments I made to defeat, right? Then what happens? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I just screwed up my work. That's what happened. Look, by not checking this little corner, um, not checking I was on the correct keyframe, on the correct frame, and checking this corner to see if I was recording or not, look at what I did. Let me go to the first frame. Instead of a soft dolly in to get the feeling of the scene, <laughs> look at what I did. One one one. I have a very aggressive zoom in and zoom out to the feet. A camera movement that has nothing to do with the emotional content <laughs> of the scene. It's it's wrong. I just screwed up my animation because I didn't check this corner. Now I'm showing you this because it's very stupid, but. Worst of all, it's very common. It's a very common mistake that can happen to you when you're starting. I'm telling you because it happened to me a lot of times when I was learning this software. It's very powerful and it lets you animate super fast, 
but it comes at a price. It's super sensitive, so it's always ready to animate. And if this ever happens to you, this this kind of mistake, like yeah, ah, what happened? What what? If that happens to you, just relax. Go to the timeline, and in the project section, right here, uh, I have the project section. Select camera. I click on camera, and there, the terrible zoom in movement to the feet. I can just select that keyframe and press delete. There, it has now been fixed. Ah, the soft dolly in is back. So again, zooming in and zooming out in the workspace is super easy, but you need to make sure of two things. One, make sure you check this corner to see if you are recording or not. And two, in case you want to record, make sure you have the cursor in the correct frame, in the correct position in the timeline. Now, what if I want to adjust the feet? Well, have the recording function off. Let me disable it. And this is the working camera. You have two views, the scene camera, this one, this camera can be animated. And if I disable it, this is the working camera. I can do whatever I want with this view. Okay, so with this camera, I can zoom in. I use this camera for work and I make my adjustments right there, right? And then I go back to the beginning, activate the scene camera and play the whole thing. And there, I didn't do anything to the scene camera, okay, to the camera animation. Now in this whole lesson, I have taken a lot of time to explain how sensitive this is, but really it's super duper easy to navigate, but it's very, very sensitive and you can screw up your animation without even knowing. Okay, so now you know. Now let's check out how to navigate through the timeline. For this, I opened uh, another file that has a very busy timeline, scene four, and this one is super easy. Remember, all those keyframes are from, because I have the motion, remember, I have the motion, all those keyframes are the animation for what? The body, the face, or this, transform box. Which one? The body. That's it. Motion shows the keyframes for the body. And so if I want to zoom in to work uh, in more detail, I just hold alt and then I scroll with the mouse wheel. Okay. I can scroll back to zoom out and scroll in to zoom in. Okay. Alt and scroll the mouse wheel. Very, very easy. Now, if I want to pan the view, I just hold Alt and click and drag, just like in the workspace. And you can move the view up and down, left or right, okay? Holding Alt and click. That's very, very easy. And that's about it for the navigation. Now, I want to show you one last thing, how to navigate through the keyframes, how to move the playhead through the keyframes. You see, we have some keyframes here and it's very useful to be able to jump from one keyframe to another keyframe to another keyframe, okay? How to do that? Well, if I click here on the transform row, right? And I press tab, boom, I move to the next keyframe. I press tab again and the next and tab moves you forward through the keyframes. And uh, if I want to go back, I hold shift and press tab and I go back. So shift tab goes back, moves back, jumping through the keyframes and tab moves you forward. If I want to navigate through another, t uh, another row, I just click on that row. I have sprite selected, you see? Now this one is bold and I press tab. I want to navigate through the keyframes of the left arm. I select that and tab to move forward, shift tab to move back. Okay, so that's very easy. Let me disable the recording view. For the workspace, alt, click and drag with both buttons to zoom in and out. 
and then Alt and click to move around, okay? And in the timeline, hold Alt and then scroll in as and scroll out with the mouse wheel and Alt, click and drag to move the view. And if you want to navigate through the keyframes, just select the row you want to navigate through and press Tab to move forward through the keyframes and Shift Tab to move back. Okay, that's it for this lesson. You now know how to navigate and zoom in and out in the workspace and in the timeline. Now, in the next lesson, we will learn about how to compose a scene quickly by taking advantage of the bonus package content, okay? See you there.